as shown, uh, the rational design using the method including the site-directed mutagenesis will require a range of the scientific knowledge of the protein structure. And using the bioinformatic tool to make the prediction, where specifically you can introduce the mutations using the method such as the site-directed mutagenesis in order to get your desired result. But the good thing is it saves your screening effort. Um, on the other hand, uh, the directed evolutions, which use the random mutagenesis method, although less knowledge of the protein structure is required, uh, it is time consuming and laborious because out of probably uh, millions of the variants, the researchers will need to identify just one variant that has significant improvement. It is like finding a needle in a haystack. So because of this, uh, the scientists started to think of how can we make this directed evolution to be more efficient? So the scientists came up with an approach that combined the goods of the directed evolution and rational design, which is known as a semi-rational design. It is kind of in between because you still need a bit of information regarding to the protein structure, for example, the sequence, but it allows you at the same time to reduce the screening effort. And so we call this technology as a saturation mutagenesis. By utilizing our semiconductor based oligosynthesis technology in the constructions of mutant libraries, it allows us to have a precise control of a user defined code and usage and a guarantee of more than 90% 90, 90 of coverage for the saturation libraries. And lastly, it allows us to create a large, precise mutant library that saves the researchers from the time for screening. 